Now we have seen how to compute stationary distributions on a couple of simple Markov chains, but um, the stationary distribution doesn't always exist and it may not be unique in some cases. So for this purpose, in order to be, um, you know, in order to understand when we can find a unique stationary distribution, we will uh, classify Markov chains according to their structures. First of all, we have the concept of communicating states. So two states, I and J, are set to communicate uh, if this is true. So what is this? There exists M and N such that transition from I to J in M steps is greater than zero. So a non-zero probability that you can transition from I to J in M steps. Whatever M is, we don't care about M. Such, and the only thing is that uh, it, it exists. Okay, there is such a uh, number. And similarly from J to I. So this means starting from I, you can reach J. I don't care in how many transitions. I only care about the possibility that I can reach J from I. There is a path, probabilistically speaking. Okay, there is a path of transitions that the Markov chain can make. So starting from I, you will end up in a state J. There is a positive probability. Similarly, if you have the same with starting from J, transitioning into I, okay, that means you can reach J from I and I from J. Then we say these two states communicate. Okay, the states which communicate with each other form communicating classes. This is important. We will not go into the, the properties quite deep, but um, these classes, well, if you have taken a um, discrete mathematics course, and um, this is an example of an equivalence relation. So they have uh, similar properties. And uh, in the context of Markov chains, I will say that whatever properties a state has, which we will see next, um, each of the states in its communicating class have the same property. Okay, so based on the concept of communicating states, we define a Markov chain is irreducible if all states communicate. That means you have one single communicating class. Okay, a state I of Markov chain is periodic if there exists a D, which is greater than one, this is important, greater than one, such that transition from I to itself in M steps is greater than zero only if M is a multiple of D. So what does it mean? This means if you start from I, you can visit I back only in uh, multiples of D steps. Okay, and D is, remember, greater than one, so that uh, an arbitrary uh, period is not allowed. Okay, it's either a multiple of two, a multiple of three, a multiple of four, etc. So such states are called periodic. That means it's not possible to revisit the same step, the, the same state after an arbitrary number of transitions. It's possible only in multiples of D, okay? And that's, well, simply that is called the period of that state. Now, periodicity is not a property of a Markov chain, it's the property of a state, but a periodicity is a, a property of a Markov chain. We call a Markov chain aperiodic if there are no periodic states. Okay, so in a Markov chain, some states might be periodic, some states might not be periodic, but if you have at least one periodic state, then that Markov chain is not aperiodic. Okay, um, another concept is absorbing states. A state I of a Markov chain is called absorbing if this is true. One step transition probability from I to again I is one. So when you enter that state, you stay at that state. If there is such a state in a Markov chain, 
we call that an absorbing Markov chain. Let's see some examples. Um, again, well, the first three are based on the example we have seen uh, just earlier. And the first one, it's, this is the well-behaved one. And you see this is irreducible. Both states communicate with each other. And it's also aperiodic. None of the states are periodic. Okay. The second one, you see, it's irreducible. Why? Because both states communicate with each other. You can, you can reach either of them from each other. However, this is not an aperiodic Markov chain because, well, both of these are periodic states with periods of two. If, if you are in state number one, um, definitely you cannot visit it the next state, the, the next slot, okay? You will have to visit number two and then come back. That means P11 after one transition is zero, but P11 after two transitions is one, similar with state two, okay? Next one, again, here we have two states, but um, state number two, you see, is absorbing. So this is an absorbing Markov chain, okay? Whenever you enter state number two, you stay there. Is it irreducible? No, because, well, from one, you can go to two, but from two, you cannot go to one, you cannot reach state one. So it's not irreducible. So you have two communicating classes in this Markov chain. And it's also aperiodic. None of the states are periodic. Well, when you enter two, you, you visit it every, every time instant, but uh, since the, the D period should be greater than one, remember the definition, we, we cannot say this is periodic. Now look at the, the fourth one here. This Markov chain, well, you see, if you investigate the behavior of this from state number one, from state number one, with half probability, you either go to two or four. And then on, the behavior is exactly the same. The, the, the time slot after that, you definitely visit number three, and then you definitely return back to one, and then repeat over, okay? So in that sense, if you look at the transition probability from one state one to itself, you see this is one when uh, the period is three, okay? So this Markov chain is not aperiodic because this uh, state is a periodic state. It's an irreducible Markov chain. So we have just one single uh, class of communicating states. And as I said, the properties of the states in the single communicating class are the same. So since we have established this is a periodic state, all of these are periodic states. And that is also true. For instance, for state three, again, with the same period, you have this. Now, when you look at this one, maybe this might be a little bit confusing because, well, Transition from state two to again state two in a period of three is not one, but one half. It depends on whether you make this transition or this one. But if you remember the definition, PII in period D is greater than zero. Well, this is M, but M is a multiple of D. Okay, so it's greater than zero. It doesn't say equal to one. So be careful about this. So state number two and state number four here are also periodic states. It doesn't mean you definitely visit this state periodically, okay? Do not confuse the two. It doesn't say you will visit it periodically. It just says you can only visit this state periodically, not arbitrarily, okay? Do not confuse the two. And finally, this one, now you see, Assuming that you start from state one, again, you have a choice. You either go to state two or state three with um, probability one half. 
And whenever you go to either two or three, those are observing, absorbing, okay? You stay there, okay? So um, you see, this Markov chain is not irreducible because two doesn't go to one, three doesn't go to one. So it's not irreducible. In fact, you have three communicating classes. Each of the states, just they, they communicate with themselves only. And therefore, um, we have three distinct communicating classes. None of them are periodic. So this Markov chain is not a periodic. And we have absorbing states, okay? So you see, you start from, suppose that, well, if, if you start from either two or three, you, you do not leave those states. If you start from one, after one transition, the Markov chain is absorbed into either state two or state three, and the Markov chain stays there indefinitely. 